All right, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching uh, my videos, for subscribing to my channel. As I uh, told you guys, I'm going to try and be more active on my YouTube channel. And I've been uploading every week since. And yeah, it's going pretty good. The feedback that I get from you guys is really, really amazing. And I appreciate that. And yeah, today we're doing another video. And uh, today I'm actually going to talk about my transformation how I started training, how I started competing, where I come from, how long I've been training and you know, all this stuff. So my gym journey actually started when I moved to UK, which was almost 10 years ago. Uh, I was 15 years old and uh, back home in Romania, I'm from Romania by the way, back home uh, in Romania, I was overweight and uh, people in my class in, in school, they used to call me fat and I was so so low in confidence and uh, anyway when i came here like i really didn't have no friends because i was kind of new in the country i didn't know anybody and uh, i remember it was a gym next to my next to my house like leisure center and because i was so young only 15 years old they wouldn't let me train like five days a week they would only uh, let me train like one day on one day off so like three times a week and they wouldn't let me do any weight or anything like that so I would just like sneak in do like a half an hour workout like whatever I could and then just do cardio and uh, yeah but my diet was like pretty shit like I didn't know what to eat like I didn't have that much information that we have nowadays on social media on YouTube and you know all the platforms so yeah but with that being said like I did lose weight and I gained a little bit of muscle and uh, that boost up my confidence a little bit more. And um, going forward, two, three years later, I wanted to compete and see where I can be. My name is Andre, I'm 17 years old. And uh, yeah, I did my own prep, I did my own uh, be quick like I had no clue about anything about water or anything like that so I did my first show I was at that time I was 17 years old yeah 17 years old and uh, I remember I competed with guys that were like 21 23 years old so like they had more more time ahead of me more muscle maturity more experience and uh, I remember like at that show, like even my posing was bad, like everything was bad. But like I just wanted to see how I look next, next to these guys and uh, kind of show my work that I've been doing all these past years. Yeah, I, I competed, I didn't win at all, like I didn't even came top five or anything like that. I don't know what place I, I, I go. But one thing I learned from that competition is like to be more consistent and have patience because it doesn't happen over time and that competition, that loss actually made me uh, more hungrier to come back and um, train harder, take it more seriously and come back on stage and try and win it. Two years later, I went back to the same uh, competition that I did and I win it and not only a category but uh, two categories, so I won two categories first place and um, yeah, from there, I think my fitness journey kind of started to take off because I was also young. I was 19 years old and my shape, I wasn't like the biggest guy, but I was like really shredded. And around that time, because it wasn't that many like young guys in the industry, it kind of put me in a better place, I think. Yeah, and I remember after that show, like my fitness journey kind of started to take off and also my social media because I was, I was one of the youngest guy with like shredded physique, like trices and all that. Me doing a lot of shoots and stuff and bringing up my social media. Uh, and that's when my hobby actually turned into a job. So I was doing a lot, a lot not a lot, but like I was doing collabs. I was getting approached by companies, by sponsors to work with them. And uh, yeah, that's when my, uh, my hobby started turning into, into a job, into a job that I enjoy doing. So at that point, the shows that I've been doing, they were amateurs. And moving forward, two years later, I start uh, training and competing for the IFB Pro League, which I did around um, 
two shows here in UK, UK BFF, I remember, and I placed first on both of them. One of them was an Arno Classic qualifier, which I qualified, and then a few months later, I went to compete at the Arno Classic uh, Barcelona. I competed there and I came second. I just missed the uh, first place in the pro card by a few points. And uh, from that point, I took a year off competing because I needed to improve my physique and uh, did San Marino Pro in Italy, which I came top sec, top two or top three. I can't remember, but it was top three or top two or top three. And uh, I won my pro card. And uh, since then, I uh, took two years off to like just focus on my career, on social media, on YouTube, and you know, and also on my physique. Cause I know, I knew like once I'm gonna become a pro, there's people that they are much better than me, they got better physique, more muscle maturity, they have more experience than me. So I took that time off to improve my physique and also improve my social media and my work. And uh, came back, did a show in Romania, won it and got the Olympia qualifier, which was my dream, which is my dream. So yeah, I'm really excited to start the prep for Olympia this year. Uh, with Hani being uh, my coach, one of the best. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this Olympia. It's been my journey for the past 10 years. As you can see, it didn't happen overnight. It took me so, so much time, so many years, a lot of patience, a lot of consistency and dedication. Because you guys been asking like, how do I get on your level? How do I get to look like you or things like that? Like, just be patient, just be consistent, just train hard, work hard, and things will happen. But not overnight, overnight. Because if it was overnight, everybody would look good, everybody would be in shape, everybody would have followers on social media or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not easy. But the one thing that you need to be, stay dedicated, consistency, and have patience, all right? The journey won't always be easy. You'll have bad days, you'll have good days, you'll have bad workouts. Some days you wouldn't want to wake up for cardio or to go do your workouts, or you wouldn't want to keep eating clean or your meals, but it just happens. Like you just have to keep going on and uh, try and do your best. And uh, yeah, just don't give up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be doing more videos for you guys. We're actually filming today another video so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to let me know what do you think about these videos and what you want to see in the next videos in the comment section appreciate that